surprising twist in this vlog, my dad's right behind me. <laughs> Look at that in the S4. Thing looks beautiful. Sorry, I had to ship. Oh, it looks gorgeous back there. Man. <laughs> well, that was cool. And you, you bumped the back of my car. Like, you might have scratched something. Nah, oh, jeez. I guess you can call it that. Did you see me behind you? Oh, I saw you behind me. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw you behind me. I saw you speeding up past like six other cars to get to me. It is great. Alright, got my cool temp sensor. So, let it in. Let me try it out. But yeah, our our old one in comparison looks a little bit greener, definitely older. Um, let's hope that th that this was our problem and that the car starts in the next five minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Guys, I just messed up bad. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn to you later. This is really, this is really not good. This is really, really, really not good. Like, really, really. I, I didn't even get a chance to start the car. Or even see if that was the problem. I had to get another one. Yeah. I wanna die. I wanna die. I want to die. So, I went to AutoZone. Uh... They actually took the part, and I got to return it, got my money back, and then ordered a new one, which they only had one more of left. That should be coming in tomorrow, so I can check that again. But meanwhile, here I am now, and I'm going to be painting the black on the bumper, plus also the black on the wing parts. And hopefully in the end, all this looks pretty good. Um, I still have to take off the lower thermostat housing now so I can take out the rest of that uh, sensor that I got stuck in there. I'm actually kind of stressed about that. So I'm going to uh, sand it up a little bit, uh, wipe it down. I already masked off the main areas. I got to mask off the rest of it. Um, we're going to be spraying it with some high performance enamel. Then I have a clear coat that I actually had to order online same stuff as my gloss clear coat, but it's matte. So this is what we're using. Uh, Max 2K clear satin. I was gonna paint my fender flares, but actually they're like a, they have like a film on them. I'll show you guys later, but I'm just gonna take off the film and it looks like matte black and it looks fine. So when they start fading or something like that, I'll paint them, but until then, I'm gonna just leave them the way they are. Uh, I've finished masking, and then we'll sand, and then... Good things happen, hopefully. Just in case you never knew how to paint hardware before... Oh. <laughs> Get a little plastic, uh, <laughs> plastic box. Cardboard box. And, uh, make holes. Stick your bolts to it. So we're just gonna spritz this up with some primer and then hit it with some black.
Yo, we're back. Uh, next day, uh, the bumper. I didn't like install it, but it's just like on here to dry, get drier. Uh, then I'll be taking the tape off soon. Um, Dawson's still over there. <laughs> still has not started, but yeah. So I just traded uh, <laughs> the Dotson's wheels that it came with, the like black wheels. If you guys watched that video, um, I just traded them for this. <laughs> Uh, it's 12 inch, two, 12 inch speakers, Pioneer speakers, with cables, an amp, and a radio. All for the Datsuns. <laughs> just gross black wheels that, that we just, just, we got rid of those immediately. We, we put the stock wheels back on. That's how much we didn't like those wheels. Oh my god. But I cannot believe that I actually just made that trade so uh yeah we got all this i hope it all works uh we're, we're gonna test this at some point i don't actually i didn't actually test it but um because i don't have anything to test it on right now but i'll figure all that out and uh, we'll try these out and see if they work and dude that should be freaking crazy all right now it's time to take off the wrapping Oh my god, that just destroyed it. Oh, that just destroyed it over here. Oh my god. But this is so infuriating how the clear coat keeps wanting to come up with the Oh look at all that yellow it just took off there too. So uh that turned out horrible. So, a bunch of yellow came off down here. Like I said, we are redoing the yellow, but this decided to also go off, so that's lovely. I'll see if I can keep most of this on here. I might just have to repaint some of it. I don't know. But the clear coat feels nice. Definitely needs, definitely needs uh, wet sanding for sure, but I'm gonna do all the wet sanding all at once when they both need wet sanding. Uh, all right, I'm gonna keep on peeling this thing off. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, hmm, it's, hmm, the black one looks good, um, the yellow around it looks horrible, and the parts where I peeled up, it can suck, but, oh well, guess that's more redoing I gotta do, um, but overall, it doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look horrible. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to actually paint this part here black. I think I'm going to. Um, I wasn't going to at first, but then I was like, you know what? Yeah, sure, I will. But uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna show that part. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put this away. Get, get some other stuff done. If you can't tell, I'm low key pretty, pretty disappointed. I'm not really happy with that. I mean, it's my like first, or I guess second time painting a front, third time I guess painting a front bumper. Um, make mistakes. It's always the little things that get you, like letting it dry too much with the wet uh, coat, and it oversprayed here and there, and yeah, not the best, not the best at all. But next time, make it better. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and then work on something else, something else.